photographic of the month, we're going to talk about the correlation between the Euro Stocks 50 index and the Euro dollar. William de Wilde, hello. Hello. Over the past month, last August, what was the correlation between the Euro Stocks and the Euro versus the dollar? We've seen a decline of the stock market in Europe on the back of the very significant drop in the Chinese stock market. Simultaneously, we have seen a strengthening of the euro against the dollar. Is that normal to see the strengthening of the euro when the stocks are down? It is certainly different from what we have seen historically. This um, scatter plot shows for daily data since 2008 what has been the relationship. To, to put some structure in the, in the data, I've drawn this regression line which shows that there is a positive slope. What this means is that historically when stocks went down, typically the euro also weakened. But on the short term, recently, we saw something different then. Indeed, this is the short term experience. So starting in 2015, um, what strikes is that you have indeed quite a significant number of observations with a decline in the stock market. But you see that on many occasions, you see a strengthening of the euro against the dollar, which is shown when the dot is above the zero line. And actually, the regression line has also changed, as you will see here. So what is the explanation of this recent phenomenon? So now indeed the correlation historically has now changed of sign. And what this shows is that uh, we are in a world dominated by carry trades. This is happening on the back of the divergence in monetary policy between the Eurozone and the United States. What has happened is that a lot of investors have been borrowing Euro and investing in the US dollar. When risk appetite plunges because, for instance, stocks go down, what happens is that they would also stop playing that carry trade. So they sell the dollar and they uh, buy back the euro. And this is then causing the strengthening of the euro against the background of a weaker stock market. Thank you very much, William de Velde. Next, we talk about the tension in emerging markets with François Faure.